Welcome to Home Biz Tax Talk. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the Home Biz Tax Lady and the principal owner of Everett Tax Solutions, where we help you win the tax game. Home Biz Tax Talk airs Monday through Friday. And when you tune into my show, you're going to hear about topics that are important to the to the small business community. So um, recently, I shared a few videos talking about, you know, there are lots of people, you know, in their taxes, celebrity taxes that are hitting the airwaves. There was the case of John McAfee, who's been arrested for tax evasion. There's all the talk about Donald Trump and his taxes. And what that has done is, you know, a lot of people are now wondering, okay, why is it that these folks get to not pay and I don't get to not pay, right? So I want to really have a discussion to help you understand what really happens in all of this process, right? Because people want to know, okay, well, what will happen if I don't pay my taxes, right? So let's talk about it. Now, there's a difference between failing to file and failing to pay your taxes. That's John McAfee. And then there's the fail, there's filing your taxes and then failing to pay. That's when you have filed your taxes and you you get to the table and there's a tax liability that you have that you're not prepared to pay. And then there's your filing and then you don't owe. That's something completely different. OK, but, you know, not filing and not paying. That's criminal. OK, that's when you're really talking about tax evasion. But what happens when you file your taxes, you do what you're supposed to do and then you just can't afford to pay the bill there? This is a completely different thing. But, you know, people want to know, OK, what happens? Right. So first of all, out of all of this, file your taxes on time, regardless of whether or not you can pay. Um, you know, a lot of times people think, well, if I don't file, then the IRS isn't going to know. That is so far from the truth. <laughs> you might not hear about it today. You might not hear about it next year. It might, you might not hear about it for like two or three years, right? So file your taxes on time, regardless of whether or not you can pay. So, um, the other thing I want to say is that another misconception is that the IRS is just going to randomly show up and put you in jail. And that's not true either. Um, you know, by the time the IRS gets to putting you in jail, a whole bunch of other stuff has happened and putting you in jail is the last resort. And it's really not just because you didn't pay your taxes. Okay. So, um, so let's talk about it. So you file your taxes. Oh my gosh, I have a tax bill. What happens next? Well, then the IRS is going to send you a bill. They're going to send you a bill and say, hey, Lysandra, based on your tax year 2019 filing, you owe us $5,600. That's what the letter is going to say. It's going to give you a date to respond by. You know, here, here's what you owe. Here are the penalties and interest, and it'll give you a total amount that you owe. It will also give you instructions. Now, when you get a letter from the IRS, read the letter, open it up. There are so many people that get letters from the IRS, don't open the letters and think that the IRS is going to go away. That's a no. <laughs> OK, and you not opening the letter does not mean that you did not actually get the letter. OK, you you got the letter. So open the letter, read the letter. It comes with instructions. It tells you exactly what to do. OK, but the you know, it's but it's never the IRS's goal to put you in jail. They just want their money. So you file, you get a bill that says you owe this amount of money. OK, and then if you do nothing, you're going to get another letter that says, hey, we sent you a letter and told you that you owe us X amount of dollars. Please pay us our money. OK, so the lesson here is when you get a letter from the IRS, make sure that you respond to them. OK, even if it's just to say, hey, I got the letter, I'm working on it. OK, just to, you know, so that you are keeping in touch with the IRS, because when you ignore the IRS, you really enforce them to enforce the law. And that's not where you want to go. So you've gone through, you're not responding to the IRS. You're not making any attempts to pay this tax bill, make any type of arrangements. OK, then that's when you get to the part about the levy, right? That's where the IRS basically said, OK, the letters were your attention getter. 
Obviously, we have failed to get your attention. So now we're just going to go and, and issue this levy. Now, the levy is when they start taking your stuff. That's when they um, garnish your wages. Uh, they can go into your bank accounts, not just your bank accounts, but your PayPal, your cash app, all of those paid third payment processors and all of that. They can go to all of them and collect that cash. OK, that's not really what you want in your life. All right. You don't want to get that far, but that's what they will do. The IRS will do that. So when somebody pops up and just all of a sudden the IRS just took my money. No, that's the only way the IRS will take your money without warning is if they believe something criminal is going on and they think you're you know, about to you know, leave the country or something. Now, usually when you get to the levy process, that's when people start to do other things that they believe is survival, but the IRS calls illegal. So when the IRS is garnishing wages, if they are, uh, you know, have taken money out of your bank account, then people be like, okay, let me go to this check cash in place, cash this check, and then I'll put this money in my friend's account, Right. That's tax evasion. You are now trying to hide money from the IRS. Do not do that. Because if you think the IRS won't find out about it, that's the wrong answer. And so now you've taken something that's generally not considered criminal and made it criminal by hiding your money and then trying to buy things in other people's names and all of that. All of that stuff has been tried and, people, and, and the IRS finds out. It might take them a minute, but they will find out. And, you know, and when you've gotten into this whole levy process that this stuff starts to impact your credit. OK, it will impact your credit and your ability to buy things, all of that stuff that goes along with your credit. It goes there. And even when you're dealing with government and government jobs and everything, they look at this stuff. Have you paid your taxes? It, it impacts security clearances, all of that, your credit. And your dealings with the IRS impact so many parts of your lives. As a matter of fact, if your tax bill gets high enough, the IRS will lead over to the State Department. Hey, State Department. You know, Jack's um, tax bill is pretty high there. Uh, can you suspend that passport? And the, and the State Department's like, we got you, boo. So your passport can be suspended or revoked. Now, a lot of times people will say, OK, well, I'm not planning on leaving this country anyway. So what good is a passport? You need to understand that a passport is the most valuable piece of identification that you can have over your driver's license, over your birth certificate, over any other type of state issued ID. Your passport is the most important piece of identification you can have. OK. So like, so think about when you, you know, when you go to a, a, apply for a job, there's that column A, B thing and column C thing where you need two from one, you know, each column or you can have your passport. So understand your passport is not just for international travel. It is the most important piece of identification that you can have. OK, so don't play around with the passport. Let me be the first one to tell you. So. You know, so just understanding that um, that when you're dealing with tax debt and I mean tax debt where you have followed the law, you have filed and you can't pay. There are ways to work that out with your with the feds and your state. OK, and also understand that the state will come for you faster and quicker than the IRS. All right. But just understand there are ways to work these things out and you can reach out to help for help. There are enrolled agents like me who uh, specialize in dealing with tax problems. There are CPAs. There are tax attorneys. There are a lot of people that are available to help you deal with this stuff. The main thing is do not just think this is going to go away. The IRS has 10 years to collect your tax debt. OK, states can have have up to 20 years, 20 years to collect a tax debt. OK, so, you know, so this is not something that's just going to go away just because you did not, 
you know, respond to letters and all of that, they're still going to want their money. And if you get to the point where you are hiding your money, hiding assets and all of these things, then yeah, if you get sent to jail for that stuff, then, <laughs> okay, the tax bill is still going to be there when you get out. So don't think that you're just going to go to jail and then the tax bill is going to go away. That ain't how that works. Okay. So like I said, if you have tax debt, first of all, still file. Okay. If the most important message out of this still file, even if you can't pay, you can work that stuff out. If you got to choose between, you know, paying your state and paying the feds, pay your state first, work something out with the feds. All right. I will, I will stand by that statement any day of the week. And then last of all, get help. Okay. If it's gotten to a point where it's unmanageable for you, get help to help you resolve the tax debt. Okay. There is nothing wrong with getting help to do that. Okay. So I hope that answers your question. I hope that really explains the process of how the IRS goes about this whole debt collection thing. Um, and you know, just know that as long as you are working with the IRS and, and your state, they're going to work with you. It's when you start trying to hide from them that it causes more problems than anything else. All right. So thank you guys so much for tuning into Home Biz Tax Talk. Again, we air Monday through Friday, and you can come right here to get your questions answered about your home business taxes. All right. Have a great day, and I will see you all next time. Bye.